Jeffrey, thank you very much for your question. This video will be very technical, so if you guys don't know Deluge or you are not in the coding world, probably you want to shut down this video because you will get nausea. So first of all, so as for your question, if you can call a standalone function from a different function, that's also a question that I had myself. And because you asked it, I referred it to our CTO, which his name is Jatin, one of the best developers ever. And he gave me the solution. So yes, it is possible. And obviously you do want to have one code that is doing something in your system. Let's say creating a record or deleting a record or updating a record or sending an email. And there will be multiple functions calling it. And this way your code is more optimized. So that's awesome. So this is how you do it. So if you look at my screen, I will have here two functions. Function number one, that will be called standalone. And a second function will be demo standalone function. Okay. Now, this is the calling function. So basically from here, I am calling this one function that you want to use all the time. So this function will include in this case, I will have a variable named st that I'm sending that you can see here. This is the variable that I'm sending. The way that I'm calling this function, the name of the function is demo standalone function. And the way that to call it, you write standalone dot and the function name. And then you will have your something that you're sending. It might be a number, might be some kind of an output. In our case, we just wrote a Lior, so it will be very simple to understand and it's just text. This function will receive the text. We'll have here some info, another info, and it will return something. The return will be to this function. So basically it's going to return. Now here we are also going to call using API, we are going to call the function. And if I will go, I will show you in a second how to get the API, but from here we're calling the API. So if I will just execute, you will see that first of all, a Lior, so that was sent using this API. Okay, so it got the info here. And then you have the 10, which is being calculated here. And obviously you can make much more robust and interesting code than five plus five. And eventually you have the result of all that. In order to call the function, you will need to go to our demo, which is somewhere here. And then you will take the REST API, you mark API and you copy the code. Okay, you just copy what's inside. Now, then if you go to the call standalone, which is here, you can see that what we did, or Jatin did actually, you can see that the code is basically the API that you're calling. So you're calling the API from the function and this is how you do it. Okay. So I hope this uh, answer your question and I think uh, you are on the right track because uh, this is a way to create optimized code when you have one set of function doing something and the rest of the function is just calling it. So thank you very much. And if anyone have questions, shoot them and they uh, will be happy to answer you. Mm.